I wanted to get your response to, to one particular sort of attack that, that, that really gets what you, like, what you say, that, that people feel like they, they know Bernie Sanders, uh, they know his record. Um, this new thing that I've heard very often is, uh, yeah, he's got super high favorables, but the only reason is that he has never actually really been attacked. That uh, him, his supporters, his positions, his past, they've never been critiqued. What do you make of that sort of uh, narrative? Give me a break, he ran in 2016. <laughs> He's been vetted. You know, he went through this in 2016. He has been vetted. Again, it's just a cop out. And every time the senator gains or this movement gains, those elitists who don't want to see the change because they don't need it to change, they benefit from things staying just the way that they are. Those are the people that will move the goalposts. Now that the senator is doing He's he's doing very well, for example, with women. You know, they can't they can't use that misogynist sexist excuse or trope anymore. He's doing very well with African Americans and Latina ex folks and other people of color. So they can't use that anymore either. So they have to constantly come up with reasons to try to malign the senator, but it is not going to work. And John, in some cases, I hate to say, but I think some of these folks would rather see President Trump get a second term than to see President Bernie Sanders get the nomination. But the people ultimately of this country will have the final say. So if it is truly about electability, then Senator Sanders from 2016 to this very moment has been polling as the candidate to go head to head with President Trump and to defeat him. He is the progressive in this race, whereby President Trump can use the same talking points that he used in 2016. You know, he won, by example, 80 of the 88 counties in my home state because the trade deals that hurt the people in my state, uh, states like Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and Michigan. So you can't use that against Senator Sanders because he stood up against those wars, starting with Vietnam, Iraq, you know, standing up against trade deals that took away job opportunities for the working class people of this nation. So he, you know, when you juxtaposition a liar against somebody that's honest, juxtaposition somebody who's a full populist against somebody who is a true progressive and has all of the receipts because he has been on the streets decade after decade after decade aligning himself and standing side by side with the very workers in this nation who need somebody to be a true champion. And when it comes to fundraising, John, we have data that really shows that Senator Sanders is outpacing others in the Democratic primary when it comes to donation from Ob donations from Obama, Obama, Trump voters. In hmm. other words, Senator Sanders has the message that will continue to broaden and attract more people to the Democratic Party. That's actually what we are supposed to be about. So again, if we are looking to defeat President Trump, if we are looking to unify this nation, and if we are looking to have a true champion who will go up against corruption and who will stand in the ready position for the everyday people of, of this nation, his name is Bernard Sanders. Uh, Nina Turner, as always, thank you so much. Thank you, John. And thank you all for independent TYT. Thank you, all your sisters and brothers in the independent media family. Thank you so much for giving the people of this country a different view and educating us and keeping it real at all times. Thank you. I, I really appreciate that. Thank you for watching this clip from The Damage Report. For more content from the show and access to TYT Network members only exclusives, go to tyt.com slash Brooke. Wait, no, it's tyt.com slash John. Go to tyt.com slash John to sign up.